Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I thought it'd be fun to do like a 10 gifts for men under $30 kind of video because it is that time of year of course. Black Friday was yesterday and would have liked to have gotten this out sooner but life happens. Uh, that said, with this, you know, around $30 price target, some are going to be less, some will be a couple bucks more. You know, what kind of Black Friday sales and are you going to get on that? You know, 10% off is $3, so not the end of the world. If you are new here, uh, normally my videos are mostly out in the garage. I make repair videos and uh, videos about tools and videos about basically just getting stuff done with these things right here. As such, since I know this is a video that's going to potentially pull in people that aren't interested in that kind of content. I'm going to start the list off with what I'm going to call some, some bonus items. And the first bonus item I'm going to give you is to just simply know the man that you're buying the gift for. Uh, that sounds kind of silly, but it's surprising when I talk to my friends that they almost like go out of their way to not think about who the gift's for. You know, what does that person like to do? and what are they interested in it most people make it pretty obvious what you should do but i guess some people just uh, aren't creative or uh, aren't focusing their thoughts around that so it's important to note before i get too carried away here as of right now i think i've got like 47 subscribers so that's kind of silly to even consider anyone would pay me to say anything but just to be clear i bought all this stuff nobody's paying me this isn't sponsored so on and so forth Right off the bat, I'm going to throw out one that everybody knows about that's really easy to get for somebody that has absolutely everything. And it's these things, right? You know, these, uh, this one in particular is a $20 fun coupon. You can buy $20 worth of fun here. Everybody has these. This is something everybody likes getting, but it's just not that really a cool of a present, right? You know, if you hand somebody that has everything 20 bucks, well, you know, they'll appreciate it, I hope, but it's 20 bucks. What are they going to do with it? And this isn't very fun to open or anything else. But if you give somebody one of these, they actually have something cool to open. If you don't know what this is, or you've never seen one before, this is a U.S. Uh, silver dollar coin. And I think this one happens to be the 2019 year. And these are about, most days, the same price as one of these. So this might not be the, the coolest gift on the planet. You don't, you don't need to be a coin nerd to appreciate it, though. Um, what you're doing when you buy someone something like this is, one, you're giving them an investment. Uh, I gave some of these as gifts last year, and since then, silver is up uh, 20%. And I, I guess I should have clarified that. Just because this is a $1 coin does not mean it costs or is worth $1. It's worth about 20 bucks. It's worth the price of silver per ounce, and they are one-ounce coins. Uh, whereas if you took, for whatever reason, took this to a store and tried to buy something, it is actually $1 of U.S. currency. And this one also is in a coin case that's like 50 cents. But anyway, if the person you're buying for has absolutely everything, this is kind of a cool thing that you can get that person because you're buying them an investment. And you could potentially also be buying them a new hobby if that person isn't into coins. Like, I'm not really into coins. I, I buy these as an investment myself. Let's say that they become interested in that and they start going to coin shows and pawn shops and stuff like that and checking out things. So you could have bought them something really cool with your 20 bucks here instead of just the 20 bucks so that's bonus item number one number two i'm a big fan of these guys uh, this is one of my favorite bands this is genesis it's okay if you're not a big genesis fan and i'm not saying <laughs> you you know buy this or anything what i am going to say is i actually attended this concert uh, on this date in in columbus ohio and at the concert they announced that they were making recordings of the concert for every show they did on this tour and that they would release those recordings on their website or a website or something. And I had straight up forgotten about it for the last, you know, 12 years. So I actually just recently bought this this summer, but this thing was like 30 bucks. So it's pretty cool that this is one of my favorite bands. I was at this show, so I'm one of the morons you hear screaming in the background. And for 30 bucks, I now can listen to that concert again and again and again as many times as I want. You know, downside here is that, you know, for a lot of people anyway, you know, this is clearly a physical CD, so if you want to be extra cool, you might rip this to MP3 for somebody and give them a USB stick with it or something like that. But yeah, so all you have to really do here is know what a person is interested in and look around their house and, and see what they like and buy in that regard. Like I have, uh, I think, six or seven Genesis albums. It's not including this one. 
It's not at all hard to see that I'm a fan, so this is a cool gift for me. So you can take this idea and run with it and find a cool gift for someone in your life. So that was our number two item. For number three, uh, let's say you're buying for a, a techie or someone who is big into video games or movies and stuff like that. And if someone is big into that stuff, they tend to buy that stuff as soon as it comes out. So you don't get a chance to get them a gift. Um, but what you can do is get them supporting things that they probably haven't thought of. Like this guy here. Everybody has a nice flat screen TV these days. This is a really nice quality screen cleaning kit that I think is like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll, I'll put links to all this stuff. I think this is the third or fourth one of these I bought. I have one in my desk at work to clean my screens and I wear glasses so I use it to clean my glasses every single morning. The solution in it works really well. It's got a nice microfiber and it leaves no streaks. So this, this person that you know probably has a thousand dollar TV or ten thousand dollars video games or whatever but they may not actually have a nice way to clean the screen that they're consuming all that on. So nice and expensive way for them to get that done. In the same vein, one thing that everybody can always use more of, especially if they're a tech kind of person, is these things, USB cables. This one in particular is pretty cool because it is a nice high quality cable with four ends integrated into it. Uh, this has mini, micro, and USB-C, and this guy, which is, I'm not sure if that's lightning or if it's whatever proprietary thing Apple uses. I'm not an Apple guy, so I don't know. But it's just a nice cable that you can throw in your glove box, uh, keep in your drawer at work or whatever, and now you can connect almost every USB device without having to fish around for 35 different cords. You just have this one. And I think these are in a two pack for like 15 bucks or so on Amazon. Similar story, I recently upgraded to a phone that requires USB-C, and I like to have a little longer cable than uh, normal. And um, a lot of USB-C stuff is fast charging, so you actually have to have a cable to support that. So this here is a twin pack, so there are two, two cords in this box of USB-C cables that are really, really heavy uh, insulated, and they're good for fast charging, like up to 8 amps or something like that, and I guess it actually does make a difference with these, not an expert. But anyway, nice USB-C cables from a reputable brand that are well-constructed and everything. Same story, got two of them here for something like $15. Next up in the bonus category, most men I know like to cook at least something. And these are just pretty cool salt and pepper shakers that I've got for myself because I like to cook quite a bit actually. And these are neat just because they're neat. They, you know, they look like the little ball gla glass jars and everything. But where the cool gift idea comes in here, as you can see, I've actually slightly customized the pepper shaker. So I use tons and tons of black pepper when I cook. I love black pepper. And all I really did there was drill out the holes and put a big bore kit on it so I don't have to shake this thing for 10,000 years when I want a bunch of pepper. Uh, these, are, these would be cool gifts for people that barbecue, um, people that just like make homemade popcorn. You can put your popcorn uh, salt in these and it's a nice heavy shaker. You can <laughs> bore out your own holes if you're doing, you know, big barbecue uh, pit style stuff and you've got just a bunch of rub to throw on, you know, drill out a bunch of big holes in it and give it to somebody. I think these things are like six or seven bucks for a set for, for both of them. And our next bonus, again, keeping in mind is know the person uh, you're buying for. Although in this case, this is so cool, I can't think of any man not wanting this. This is a uh, Victorinox 8-inch Fibrox Pro uh, Chef's Knife. So this is a big FO grade uh, kitchen knife. Uh, you know, if you want to reenact Psycho, you can do that. Uh, but this has been, for years now, I think, the number one rated uh, Chef's Knife on America's Test Kitchen or Cook's Illustrated now, I think is what it's called. If you don't know what that is, they test recipes and kitchen appliances through a scientific approach. So they'll take a knife like this and chop a bunch of different things and go do a bunch of different things. And they test products from like 10 bucks up to like $500 and they usually give a, like a budget choice and then an expensive all out winner. This has been their budget selection for years and years now. This knife's 30 bucks, it's absolutely great. I've had it for about two years. Uh, I use it a few times a week and it's just now getting to the point where I should probably consider sharpening it. It's been a fantastic knife. And this Fibrox handle basically just means fancy plastic. It's textured, so it, you, it grips very well even when it's wet. This is a fantastic knife. Again, even if you've got a man that only cooks something once a year, this is just a big, scary knife, which is cool. Uh, same vein, these are nice plastic cutting boards. They're non-bacterial. 
Uh, you can run them right through the dishwasher. You definitely don't want to use, you know, like a, a quartz cutting board or anything. If you have a decent knife, you want to use a nice soft one, uh, wood being the best, but these plastic ones are a second choice. And these actually came as a set of three with a really tiny one in here that was uselessly small to me. So I uh, actually just gave that to a friend. The set of three of these was like 12 bucks. So if you wanted to, you could actually buy the knife and the cutting board kit for about 40 bucks. But either one of these would be a great gift for somebody that does any cooking at all. And lastly, in the, a similar vein, in our last entry into the bonus items list, is this is just a giant size version of those cutting boards that I showed a minute ago. This thing's like three eighths of an inch thick. Uh, it's nice and heavy. It's probably about 20 inches wide and that's over a foot deep. So if you want to carve up like a whole turkey or, you know, uh, pork butt or you want to do a whole bunch of vegetables or something, particularly if you have one of these to really get massive about it, this cutting board's fantastic. I bought this one at Sam's Club for like $12. Uh, if you buy them online, I think they're, you have to order a minimum of two. And I'm sure if you buy them not from Sam's Club, they're probably more like 20 or 30 bucks. But either way, not very expensive. So that concludes the bonus items. Let's get on to the shop stuff. And actually the next couple items have some crossover between um, you know, stuff for anybody and stuff for the shop. Uh, Zippo lighters, Zippos are awesome. Oh, that one's a little big. How about this one? What I like about these is first of all, they, they're just cool. It goes right back to the knife. Zippos are just cool things to have. Uh, from a bygone era, you know, works awesome pretty much every time as long as it has fuel. But what I really like about these, and, and this one in particular you'll see is, uh, well, maybe I should do that. I won't say what it is, uh, is a sponsored lighter. I was given this lighter. In fact, I've gotten quite a few as gifts, but there's a story that goes with each of them I've ever gotten. So I remember the exact details of how I got this lighter. I've had it for about 20 years now. And it's just cool that whenever I pick up a Zippo to do something with it, I know the history of it. It's a durable good that can, you can keep around for a long time. And you can spend anywhere from probably 12 or 13 bucks on one of these up to probably hundreds if you get one that's collectible. And a neat thing about them too is they're all dated. Like I don't know if you probably won't be able to read it on camera and I don't think it's that important, but they have stamps on the bottom that tell you how old the lighter is. So it's really neat. You can make this a new hobby for that person that you might be shopping for as well. And if you get them some fuel and some spare flints, you'll be into this for probably about 30 bucks. Uh, one thing I'll say though is recently, I've not been having good success with the Zippo branded flints. They seem to wear really fast. Uh, I would suggest getting some uh, Ronsonal replacements, which is just a competitor for fuel and flints anyway. I think way back when they had a competing light or two, but I don't think they're very popular. Are curious, yes, this is a fully functional full-size, gigantic Zippo style lighter. Uh, this one is not actually a Zippo brand. It's like a Chinese knockoff, but I think this was also like 30 bucks on eBay some years ago. Uh, same story though. I do have a story with this. I had a buddy that had one. I always thought it was cool, so I got one. So every time I look at this thing, which I just use for decoration, although like I said, it works. You can fill it and use it. Uh, but every time I see this thing, I think of that friend. So cool thing to have just for fun. If you want to get somebody a giant one, yeah, also about 30 bucks, I think. Another kind of crossover item on the list that would work for everybody, including people in the shop, are these little containers. Uh, I think these are Tiny Hero brand. I doubt it matters what brand you buy, but they're pretty cool. It says you, well, I mean, first of all, they're just tiny little compartmentalized containers and you can select the divisions you want and just slide inserts in and out. I actually just pulled all the inserts out of mine and threw them away because I have so much crap that it's usually one size per container. Except it looks like I have some weather packing stuff in here that doesn't belong. But I actually uh, gave something last year as a gift and just used this box as packaging for that. So it was hard to wrap, so I put it in one of these and wrapped it. And everybody that was at, the, at Christmas just went just completely crazy for these little containers. Everybody wanted some. Uh, so this year, that's what I'm done, is you get these in a three pack. I think a three pack of them is like 10 bucks or so, but these are fantastic for people that have hobbies. Um, you can see I've got electrical connectors in these, but I also have about 10 more of them with fuses and all kinds of crap in them. And uh, like my mother does beads. She makes things with beads, so she could have 10,000 of these things full of different kinds of beads and sizes and colors and stuff. But these are just a great gift to help keep you organized in your shop or in your hobby. Because when you have small parts like this everywhere, it's just impossible to get anything done. 
In the same token, weighing in at zero dollars on the list, by far the most affordable gift, is I've got a bunch of these giant pill bottles. Uh, you can see this one's full of just drill bits that are, you know, kind of random drill bits, augers and stuff like that. Um, I specifically went to the pharmacy that I typically do my business with and asked them if they had uh, large bottles that I could purchase. I said I would like, you know, I think I asked for four or six of them or something like that and said I'd be happy to pay for them. Pharmacists looked at me kind of weird because I'm going to guess that could potentially open them up for some fraud. You know, you don't want people printing their own labels and selling whatever in a pill bottle. But once I explained to her what I was doing, she was cool with it and uh, didn't charge me anything. Just handed me, I think, four or six of those things and they've been in my toolbox for probably 10 or 12 years at this point. I've got all kinds of stuff like that in them. So yeah, if you have a person that's handy and has small things that need organized, this is one of those, it's the thought that counts kind of gifts because this really is thoughtful. Uh, it's just a nice thing to have. Also somewhat in the crossover category, uh, CA glue. If you don't know what this is, I've actually filmed an entire video about this stuff and in particular reviewing this kit. I just haven't edited it and published it yet. But what this is is super glue and it comes with an activator that you can spray and this stuff instantly cures. Uh, this brand in particular I've used quite a lot of. It works really, really well. This is kind of for me a in between for like Elmer's glue, which is useless for everything, or a glue gun, which is pretty much useless for everything unless you just want to hold something together a little bit. Uh, or epoxy, like JB Weld, where you have to wait for it to set up. This stuff is a good right in the middle. And this size package is enough to do tons of projects. And I think this is like 15 bucks. So highly recommend it. I actually gave some of these out for Christmas last year. So this next one has truly become one of my favorite things. I know this packaging isn't going to show you much. But this one far and away, if you have a man in your life who is active in their job, where they're driving a truck, pulling a trailer, whatever, they're working out in the country, they're working out in the wild where it's always dark, what these things are is super ludicrously bright LED reverse lights. Um, I've actually had these in the Sippy Cup Escort for about nine months now, and they are insane. Uh, these particular ones, also fit my dad's truck. So these are actually a gift for him. And fortunately for me, no, he doesn't know I have a YouTube channel, so he won't find out. Uh, these things are fantastic. Um, my parents live in the middle of nowhere. It's pitch black out there. They don't have any building or any lights on the building my dad parks his truck in. So when he's backing his truck up, it's hard to see. He frequently pulls a 24 foot trailer and you guys that pull big trailers, you know that trailers don't usually have reverse lights, so the only light you get for back in the trailer at night is off of the truck. And for that reason, sometimes you'll see guys put like a big spotlight on their rear bumper for stuff like that. But even if you do that, these are an awesome upgrade. Um, there's a reason I didn't, uh, haven't shown you guys the installation on Sippy Cup. That whole project has just been a disaster. But I'll try and get out there after it's dark and insert some footage of just how stupidly bright these things are. And that's actually one of each. That's the super bright and that's the regular. I'd actually forgotten that they weren't both super bright because that one is so bright. We'll get a distance shot next. It's pretty easy to see from here how bright that one is. <laughs> like I said, I'd completely forgotten that I hadn't swapped them both yet. But yeah, highly recommended. They're fantastic and they're like 15 bucks. Um, there are a bajillion Chinese sellers that sell these things. I can only speak to the quality of this particular brand and I'll, I'll throw all the links down in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Actually, it's these guys, iBright Star. All right, now we're moving firmly into the category of working in the shop. And these are some of my favorite tools. Uh, these are tiny picks and tiny files. Uh, these picks are, I think, Tekton tools. You can get them in Amazon. I got these at Walmart, I think on clearance for like seven or eight dollars for the set of four. And these are actually really decent picks. So if you need to clean threads and something or you need to pick out O-rings or anything like that, these things are fantastic to have. Um, these are also much better quality than the Harbor Freight ones. These are probably about twice as thick. I do have some from Harbor Freight too. I never ever use them anymore because these are so much better. But yeah, these are 10 or 12 bucks and they're fantastic. Definitely on the highly recommended budget tools list. Uh, same story, these tiny files, uh, it's probably hard to see from where you were. These are all different profiles. So this one's triangular, 
This one has a half round and a flat. I think this one's a, a double flat and, and you know, so on. Having a selection of very small files like that is awesome if you need to, or if you're, if you're fabricating something, you need to sand some body filler or some glue down or something like that and get a good profile on it. Or if you need to get in a tight place, these are fantastic to have. This particular set is completely unbranded. I'm pretty sure I bought these out of the clearance bin at a Napa like 20 years ago for probably five or six bucks. Or they might be Harbor Freight, who knows. Uh, they do the job, they're cheap enough that even if they're soft, which these kind of don't seem to be, they're holding up good, that you can throw them away and buy more anytime you want for just a few bucks. So you can actually buy all of these for about $20. And this oddball guy right here is one of my favorite, favorite tools, period. Uh, this is a good, good old fashioned old school ice pick, uh, you know, where people would use it to break chunks of ice off of a block of ice back in the day where you will typically uh, find these used or where they're nice to have is for straightening radiator fins and cleaning radiator fins and stuff out and in fact this one is just a basically a business card for whoever johnson manufacturing company is according to this handle they make stuff for uh, rebuilding radiators and the reason it's branded that way is because i actually got this at a radiator shop when i was having some work done i asked them hey you know i've been looking for like an old school ice pick so my dad has had one of these in his toolbox for my entire life, and I can't find one. And they just gave me one. They said, oh yeah, our rep gives us those. Here you go. It's yours for free. I'm sure you can now buy these on eBay and Amazon and everywhere else. I'll try and dig one up for a link for you. But uh, this one was free, so that's an option. But I'm sure if you can find one, they're probably only a few bucks, or maybe you have to buy like a 10 back of them for 10 bucks or something. But if you're just gonna buy, one thing out of this group this is far and away my favorite one just because it is so versatile and it's so easy to hang on to because it's so big you know i've used it to mix epoxy and spread glue and to grease you know inside bearings to really get stuff around these are just fantastic i forgot one that goes in the same category so we'll just call it a bonus for the tiny files um, a lot of people don't even know these exist anymore uh, this is a file card and what this is for is when your files get all plugged up with crap you drag it across these brushes or vice versa if you're using a bigger file and you can clean your files out with it so you don't load them up so they still cut and then there's just a nice bench brush on the other side so you can sweep your mess up or whatever these also used to be surprisingly hard to find i was actually given this one by a toolmaker friend of mine i've had it in my toolbox for probably 10 or 15 years now i use it all the time I think now they're, again, probably pretty easy to find on Amazon and eBay, but odds are good if you know somebody who is handy but not a machinist or a toolmaker, they probably don't have a file card. Uh, I think I'm the only guy I know among my group of friends that wrenches that actually does. Because I've asked my buddies before, hey, where's your file card? Your file sucks, and they don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to guess for 10 bucks you can probably pick up one of these. You should, totally should do that. Next up is what has become another of my favorite things. This is a very high quality uh, air blow gun. This one happens to be made by Parker. If you're not aware, Parker, Parker Hannafin makes all sorts of high quality commercial grade hydraulic and hose fittings and stuff like that. They're huge in the commercial industry. So yeah, really high quality stuff. This thing weighs about twice what the ones you get at Walmart do. Uh, it does not leak like all the cheap ones do. This one came with a different tip on the end of it. I've just screwed this other one in from like a uh, universal inflator kit. You know, one of the crappy kits that I had from Walmart for years. Apparently the threads all interchange, but this has become one of my just absolute pleasure tools to own. It just feels good in the hand. You can tell it's quality. It's just nice to have, and it's 22 or 23 bucks on Amazon. If you want to make this a little bit even nicer of a gift, buy actual made in the usa milton fittings for it uh, i've switched over all my air tools to only use milton uh, same reasons they don't leak they're high quality they feel nice to use and they don't cost an absolute fortune the way you might think i mean compared to the crappy chinese ones they do but i think you can buy a kit with a good assortment of stuff in it like a bunch of these and a few of these and a few of the female versions of these ends for like 30 dollars so if you wanted to do one the other or both you know you're 25 bucks and then probably 30 bucks for the fittings but all this make a fantastic gift for someone who's out in the shop 
using compressed air to do all sorts of things, you know, dust stuff off or inflate things or whatever you do with a blowgun. This one's just really nice. I really like it and I feel like it's a tool that's going to last me the rest of my life. Here's one I actually have made a full-fledged review of and I'll throw you a flag for it right up in that corner and I'll also try and link it in the description. This is a pressure pot sprayer. Uh, my video that I've already done on it, I think it's called the best, cheapest penetrating oil ever uh, because what I use this sprayer for is a 50-50 mix of acetone and ATF. Uh, you can put anything in it you want. This one, I think at this point, is about three years old, and it's had acetone in it its whole life, and it hasn't broken anything down. It still works great. But anyhow, you put anything in it you want, and then you just charge it up with, I think, 80 or 90 PSI of air. Don't let me be your authority on that. Read what you buy to make sure you get the air right. You don't want this to become dangerous. But these things are fantastic. Uh, instead of having to with a regular squirt bottle, you just put whatever you want to spray in this thing, charge it up with air, and now it sprays just like a can of brake cleaner WD-40 or whatever. Fantastic. Uh, you can put simple green in it for cleaning your grill. You can put acetone ATF in it for doing what I do. You put WD-40 in it. You can, you can probably put whiskey in it and just take shots right off the aerosol bottle if you want. But these things are great. I really like these, and I think this is $13 or $14. Next up, magnets on sticks. It is not possible to have too many of these in too many different configurations if you're doing stuff, especially on cars. You could have 50 of these lined out here with different size magnets and flexible heads and maybe even of different lengths and different handles and they would all be super useful. Um, this one in particular, I think is one of the first ones I ever got, I got it as a gift, is actually this really goofy gimmicky Craftsman one that has a light in it. This is way back in the days before LEDs were common and popular. So this is like a one watt incandescent light that has always been useless. But the magnet part works and it's got a, a pretty heavy uh, shaft. So it's less prone to damage or anything like that. This pencil thin one here is also a Craftsman just because it happens to be. I have actually bent these up before, uh, just not being careful with them and stuff like that. But this one has got this collar on it that slides down. So you have an option to only make the end of it magnetic or you can have the whole thing be magnetic. And sometimes that is really handy if you're reaching in a really small place to get a screw out or something like that and the magnet keeps wanting to stick to whatever's next to it, you can just leave that collar down and then it'll just pick up what you want. I would say my current actual favorite though is actually this giant guy here, which I'm pretty sure is a Harbor Freight one. Uh, because it's the heaviest duty one I have. I think that's a 15 pound magnet. And again, this one's like 15 years newer than these other two. So magnet technology has come along quite a bit too. Now I think this has got one of those super magnets in it. Yeah, in fact, this is a uh, mildly uh, magnetic stainless steel table under this towel. And you can probably see that the, the magnet is actually spawning to stick to it. And I bet these other ones don't. Yeah, they totally don't. So this one, just because it's a beast is my favorite. Uh, I can pick up like 24 inch extensions with this thing. But anyhow, magnet on a stick, that's definitely, definitely something you should consider. Go out and find the most obscure, weird one you can find uh, because the odds are good that the guy you're buying it for doesn't have the most weird one on the market. You know, something with the, the smallest head or the biggest head or the most flexible or the most reach or whatever, go sort out one of those and get it for him. Or if you're sure they don't have any, go ahead and just get all of them. And these are probably, under ten dollars a piece. I think this Harbor Freight one's like six bucks. And now we're down to our final two entries on the list that I intentionally saved for last because if you guys stuck it out this far you deserve the good stuff. This guy actually have filmed an entire independent review of on its own and the audio is unusable. So I'm not going to talk a whole ton about what I've actually done with this one. We'll talk about that later. But what this is is a 130 piece Harbor Freight toolkit that is actually pretty well appointed out of the box and they're on sale all the time, including right now, for 30 bucks. They're $29.99 and for that, you get a pretty insane assortment of very useful tools. Uh, again, I'm not gonna dive super deep on this, but more than anything, what this is, is an awesome, awesome emergency toolkit to just throw in your truck or throw in your car and leave it there or throw in the, the hall closet or down in the basement or whatever. So if you need a, a screwdriver or a, a popular socket to do something around the house, you're not constantly running back and forth to the garage. 
this, this thing is great for that. These tools are obviously not high quality. This, this shouldn't be the only tools you own, but if you have none, this is a good way to start. Fantastic purchase. I've given a few of these as gifts. I've used the ever-living crap out of this one. This one I think is three or four years old. Fantastic. Highly recommend. And you'll see we've got a, a guest appearance because I keep this magnet and stick in this kit. And last up, but certainly not least in our hearts and minds, is what you guys have heard me call in a lot of my videos. So I've used this in a bunch of my videos, the Knot Dremel. What this is, is a WEN rotary tool kit. And when you get this, there's like a little tray on the top that comes with like a hundred different attachments um, that goes in the top. I outgrew that tray immediately and found it to be cumbersome to use. So I bought this little caddy to keep all the accessories in and more accessories I bought since then. It's not an accident that they match. I intentionally did that because I'm kind of OCD sometimes about odd things. This little box you don't need right out of the gate. I think the little box was 20 or 30 bucks on its own, but the rotary tool itself, when you get this thing, there's enough pieces in the top of it that you can accomplish pretty much any task you can imagine needing a Dremel for right out of the box for 30 bucks. Uh, this is also not the only one of these I have experience with. Um, I've had mine for three years. I actually uh, bought one for work too because the thing's so great. But yeah, what it, what it truly is is just a variable speed Dremel just a, a generic Chinese brand Dremel. But with that, you get a flex shaft with it. And usually like a Dremel flex shaft is like 30 bucks on its own. Uh, you get all the, those attachments, you get different collets, you get all kinds of awesome stuff. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is that the, you know, the original case this comes with is hard to deal with. There's not a lot of room to grow in it, but for 30 bucks, it's, you know, what are you really expecting? Or what do you, what do you, you know, how much better are you hoping to do for $30? Of course, I've also used actual name brand Dremel tools and in pretty much every way, this thing directly compares to those. The speed and the torque of this thing are about the same as any Dremel I've ever used, which is to say really high speed, not much torque, <laughs> if you're not familiar with these at all. But these things are fantastic. Uh, I've used these for auto mechanic kind of stuff with a wire wheel on them to uh, clean up gasket faces in hard to reach places. I've used them for fabrication stuff to grind down glue or take burrs off of steel parts. These are just fantastic to have. And if the person that you're shopping for does not have a rotary tool, or maybe even if they do and they don't even, and they just don't have a flex shaft, for 30 bucks with all the accessories this thing comes with when it's full, it's well, well worth it. These things are, this thing's been great. So that's gonna conclude my 10 items, which ended up being way more than 10 items. Uh, under 30 bucks, gifts for men list. I hope you found it uh, entertaining. If you didn't find anything uh, useful for the people you're buying for. Maybe you found some things that are useful for you. I should also mention I'm going to do a full review on this independently as well as the little kit and everything at another time. But as always guys, really appreciate you stopping in. Uh, we've got a lot of new subscribers lately which is always awesome. It does mean a lot to me that people actually want to see what I'm doing in the shop and want to you know, see videos, uh, maybe not like this because this is a little different, but you know, just kind of keep up with me. It's really cool. Uh, love it if you guys come back, consider becoming a, a subscriber, uh, drop me a comment below and say hi, let me know what you're working on, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey guys, I'm Max, the guy in the vice there is Saddington Bear, he's our channel mascot and project supervisor, and we would both like you to know that I try to make videos on a frequent basis. Typically those videos are out in the shop doing stuff with our hands, either on a project or maybe talking about some tools. I also do an Ask Max segment where you can email me any question you want at maxwellhouse at gmail.com, and that's spelled just like the channel, and I will make you a video response. And if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber and coming on back and spending some more time with us in the shop. I've also included a couple of links to some other videos for you to enjoy. As always guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.